Wait for another beautiful Shabbat. He has given us his truth, his ahava, his patience. He also has given us his mercies. Yisra'ya. Hallelujah. So again, we're talking about the Bedekiah of Almighty Yahweh. We have heard from Re'at Dawid what that consists of. It's not just what we consider things that are tangible, but also those things that are not tangible, more so Yisra'ya. And when we receive of the Berechiah of Almighty Yahweh, it always causes us to give back. Yes, That's what a true blessing, a true Berechiah would do. It won't cause us to be stingy when we come into the house of Yah and we cannot barak, we cannot praise him. We cannot lift up his name. We cannot lift up his ha our hands, hands that have been washed, cleansed before Almighty Yahweh. It causes the praises to flow. It causes our exhortation towards Almighty Yahweh to flow. That's what his barakayas does. That's what his blessings do. The world, they obtain what they call blessings. They have their fine cars, what they consider fine. And it causes a pride and an arrogancy to rise up. They're stingy. They don't give unto the needy. They don't give unto what they call their friends, really have no friends. But yet all we have to do is look amongst each other. Look at the house of Yisrael, those that are scattered. And we have true Akim. We have true Ahokim. Those that desire the true and sincere Berechiah, the blessings of Almighty Yahweh. And that's what we are here to do, Yisrael, is to receive of Almighty Yahweh. Not only to receive, but as the old condition would say, it's better to give that it is to receive. So with all that Almighty Yahweh has given us breath, he's given us of his high, of his life, that we should give unto him praises. We should present an offering that is acceptable to his name. And we should present that offer unto him with ish, or with the fire of Almighty Yahweh. So we're going to have Zakain ben Amin. He's going to take his time and present unto us the word that Yahweh has laid in his left today, but before he begins, I do want to read here at Tehillim, the Tehillim of Dawid. He understand, uh, understood even amongst the great wealth and the riches that were at his exposure, that those things meant nothing without the mercies of Almighty Yahweh, without his Ahava, without his patience. He understood that that those material things could not protect him against those that pursued him, that wanted to take his life. But he understood that these things, the better kind the blessings of Almighty Yahweh, is what kept him from his enemies, what gave him strength. So it says here in Psalms to Helium 143, as he cries unto Almighty Yahweh, he says, to hear my prayer, my Abba Yahweh, Give your ear unto my supplications. Yes. Give attentiveness. You know, that's a great blessing, whether we realize it or not, when Yahweh hears us, Yisrael. Yes. When, when his arms are not heavy, that he cannot save us. Yes. When he's not too busy or his ears are not heavy, where he cannot hear us when we pray unto him. That's a blessing. Yes. He said, in your faithfulness, almighty Yahweh. You have brought me this far. He said, I need you to answer me. And in your sadiq, your righteousness, your judgment, he said, for my enemy has pursued and he persecuted my soul. He has smitted my life down unto the ground. He has made me to dwell in darkness, not being able to see the light of Yahshua, of your blessings, of your Torah. He said, as those that have been long dead, they have been past those things. He said, therefore, as my ruah overwhelmed within me, my heart within me, it is desolate. But look what he done, or what he realized here. He said, I remember the days of old. I remember those past experiences. I remember those times where me as being a king, I could not deliver myself, not by my armies, not by my riches, 
But I remember those days of old where you found me. Where I was. What I was. Sometimes, you why y'all, we have to remember the days of old. Where Yahweh has delivered us from, this pit. A place where we had no knowledge of him. Where we did not seek him, but yet he found us. He said, I remember the days of old. He said, I meditate on all of your works. He said, I moose on the works of your hand. I meditate upon those things. I remember what you have done in my life, Almighty Yahweh. He said, I stretch forth my hands unto you. Whom else can we stretch forth our hands in time of trouble, Yisrael? He said, I lift up my hands unto you. My heart is overwhelmed with your bedekiah, your blessing, and what you have done in my life. He said, my nest fish, they thirst after you. And in a thirsty land, Salah. He said, hear me expediently, Almighty Yahweh. My ruach faileth. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into, pit, into the pit. Have not Almighty Yahweh delivered us out of a pit, Yisrael, from our sins, from the snare of our iniquity? Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning. Have not Yahweh caused us to hear about his loving kindness, his tender mercies this morning, Israel? Has he not woken us from this sleep? Hallelujah. He said, for in you do I trust. He says, call me to Yada to know the way wherein I should walk, the direction I must take this day. Order my steps aright, Almighty Yahweh. Cause the barakiah of your anointing and of your understanding and of your judgment to lead me. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto you. What is Dawid saying when he says that? He says, I give my life unto you. I know that I am no longer my own, but I have been bought with the price of your mitzvah and of your Torah. He says, deliver me, O Yahweh, from my enemies. He said, I flee unto you to hide me. He said, I have no other place to run. I have no other place to hide. But in you, Almighty Yahweh, teach me to do your will. For you are my Abba. He said, my Ruach, or your Ruach, Yahweh, it is tough. Lead me into the land of your uprightness. That is his blessings, Israel. His uprightness. That he is not slack concerning his promises. And he is not slack with us, Israel. He judges us. He puts the rod upon our backsides. He corrects us. He turns us back into the way. That is a great blessing, Israel. Because a vod, if he does not care about his house, he does not care about his children, his name, or his son, he will not correct them. Yahweh is not correcting the wicked. Yahweh is not correcting those that their hearts are turned away from Torah, that are turned away from truth. But he, has, he is correcting us this day, Israel. And I barak Yahweh for that. For it is a great blessing. It is his barakiah he has shown to us this morning, Israel. He says, to quicken me, O Yahweh, for your name's sake, for your siddiq, your righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And listen to this in verse 12 before Zakir Benjamin comes. He says, and of your mercies, your hasid, which is renewed every morning, Israel. He says, cut off my enemies. Yeah. Who are our enemies, Israel? Yeah. Is it our ark? Yeah. Is it our holt? Your greatest enemy is yourself. Yeah. Your wickedness, your will, your way, Israel. Yeah. So we should impale our flesh. Yeah. We should impale our way daily. Yeah. True. Daily, Israel. Yeah. That Yahweh may use us yeah. however he seems yeah. fit. That we not be led after the flesh or this flesh mind, but we allow the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach to lead us and to guide us. Look what he says here. He says, and destroy all them that afflict my nephesh. I desire Almighty Yahweh to destroy, to consume everything in me that does not please him. 
that keeps me from walking in his Torah and his mitzvah. That place, this will, and this way he has ordained this day for my life. He says, for I am your servant. Are we not the servants of Almighty Yahweh Israel? Has not he called us to walk in his mitzvah? Should it not be a delight this day, Israel, yeah. to walk in his Torah and his mitzvah? Yeah. So we should be happy. Yeah. We should give Torah unto Yahweh. Yeah. For his great Bedekiah yeah. and his great, great blessings that he has given unto us. Yeah. Why? Because when someone gives, when Yah gives, Israel, Yah, we should give freely unto him. Yeah. That's what his blessings cause. Hallelujah. Yeah. So at this time, I do present unto you Zakim Benamin. Yeah. As he comes up, and as he expounds upon the blessings, the Berechiah of Almighty Yahweh. Come up, so I can't bend to me. Hallelujah. Let us greet our servant with a hearty hallelujah way in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It was a blessing for Yah to the mercy to be upon us this morning, to bring us into the house. Knowing that we have no thought of Yah to awaken us this morning by his tender mercy. Yisrael Yah. Yisrael Yah. The blessings of Yah are not we, are the things that we see of this earth. It's not the many people that T.D. Jakes got. It's not the big churches that T.J. have. Are the many people that be in there, Yisrael, y'all? But still, Yisrael, y'all, the blessings of Yah are not the material thing, Yisrael, y'all. We shouldn't want to have our admiration for this material things of this world. We, our minds as far for what are the blessings of Yah? Who are the blessings give to? Are they give to the people of Olam? Are they give to the people of Yah? Yah will tell us, Israel, Yah, for we got to get our perspective right, Israel, of who the true blessing is for. Matthew, Matthew 5 and 3, it tells that the blessings are the poor in Ruach, Israel, the ones, but there is the Melchuk and the High Shemayim for Israel. Not the things of this life, not these material things, which only pleases this flesh, Israel. And it's only temporal, Israel. A fine house is not a blessing of Yah, but it's a headache, Israel. And then it says, Matthew 5 and 4, it say, Blessed are those that mourn. Those, Israel, that are cast out, Israel. That it seems like that there's no hope, Israel. It goes on to tell for them not to worry, for them to stand strong and hold up their head. For it says they shall be comforted, Israel. Matthew, Matthew 5 and 5. Bless are the meek without fight. Blessed are those that just be content, be at peace, Yisrael. For Yah will fight their battle. They have no worries. Just leave it into Yah's hand. For they shall, Yah shall give them the inheritance of the earth, Yisrael. Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are they which do hunger, and not after this physical food, Israel, yeah. but for the hunger of the Torah, yeah. the lead and guide us. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And it says, thirst after Sadiqah. For they shall be filled with the Torah of Yah. To get them to strength. To stand in this battle of Israel, Yah. That is the blessing of Yah. It's in Matthew 5 and 7. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain, obtain mercy by the mighty power and strength of Abba Yahweh. And then it says in Matthew 5 and 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, a heart that's been changed, a heart that's been washed, a mind that has the mind of Yahshua HaMashiach. For they shall see Abba Yahweh, Yisrael Yah. Now the TDJ, their heart is wicked and evil, and only speaking and twisting the word of Yah for his own gain, Yisrael Yah. Matthew 5 and 9. Blessed are the shalom makers, the one they keep peace among their neighbors. For they shall be called the children of Abba Yahweh. Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are those that are prosecuted for the for Sadiqah's sake, Israel. Blessed are those. For there is the kingdom of the Hashemayim. Let them talk all kind of reviled things against you, Israel. Let them speak wickedness of you. But it goes on to say down a little farther. Don't worry, Israel. Don't worry about them lying on you, Israel. Don't worry about them letting you be a castaway, Israel. It said, blessed are you who men shall revile you. Just give it to Yah and persecute you. Because he will fight your battle. And shall say, our manner man of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. As they accuse him falsely and said all manner of things against him, Israel, Yah. They will do the same for you. Matthew 5 and 12. You rejoice and you be exceedingly glad when y'all bring you into this tabernacle. Oh, you cry out. You dance. You move your feet for knowing you have one that'll be by you that have blessed you for greater your reward and the Hashemayim. For when the persecution come, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you, Israel. Oh, Israel. Oh, the blessings of Yah. Oh, total Yah. For his blessing, not the blessings of this life that's going to pass away. Turn to Lucas, Luke 6 and 20. Oh, it's a blessing today. Just to be fed by the word of Yah, his Torah to strengthen us. Luke 6 and 20. Yisrael, one thing about our trial that we don't realize. But that's a blessing of Yah. But instead of us thinking that's a blessing of Yah, we question Yah. Why me? Why am I going through? But here's where Yah, we should take it, it to be a blessing, to strengthen us, that we not walk in this fleshly man, but we trust of the word that y'all speak to us. As they say in Luke 6 and 20, Lucas, and Yahshua lifted up his eyes on his disciple and said, 
Blessed be you poor, for yours is the kingdom of Yahweh. Just stand, Israel, y'all. Don't let the trials overcome you, because you got one, Israel, y'all, that went through before we went through, and he overcame. We will be blessed by the strength of y'all. Luke, Luke 6 and 21 say, Blessed are you the hunger now, for you shall be filled. And I want to be filled, Israel, y'all. Blessed are you that weep, for the tears will be dried up, Israel, y'all. For you shall laugh, as the word of Luke 6 and 21 say. And he's not through with us yet, Israel, y'all. He goes on to say, because he wants his people to stand. He wants his people to know the blessing, the true blessing of Abba Yahweh, not the blessing of men, not the thing of this life. When blessed are you when men shall hate you, totally, yeah, totally, yeah. And when they shall separate you from their company, because we know, Abba Yahweh, that you are with us, Abba Yahweh, when it seems like no, no one else, Abba Yahweh. So we seem like we're all alone, Abba Yahweh. You will bless us, Abba Yahweh. You will give us the blessing of your word, Abba Yahweh. You will put and bring remembrance to the Torah of your people live, Abba Yahweh, that you said will keep us and guide us and direct us, Abba Yahweh, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Stand, Israel, Yah. Stand, Israel, Yah. Luke 6 and 23. Rejoice in that day. Leap for joy. 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 For behold, your reward is great in the high Shemayim. Ain't it worth it, Yisrael? Ain't it worth it? For in the like manner did their fathers to the prophets. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yisrael, think not that your trials, but Yisrael, let us read. What Yaakov said. Blessed is the man that endures the temptation, Israel. That do not let the temptation overcome him, Israel. He said, Blessed is the man that endured the temptation. For when he is tried, his trust is in Yah. Not in the arm of this flesh, Israel. Knowing that he shall get the victory, Israel, y'all. He shall receive the crown of life. Ain't it worth it to go through, Israel, y'all, to receive my crown? When, you, when, you, when Yahweh has promised to them that love Yahshua HaMashiach, Israel, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But Israel, y'all, let me tell you, of one of the greatest of our blessing that we can never desire. This is it, Israel. Turn to Titus 2 and 13. This is it, the grace of our blessings. Looking for that blessed hope, Israel. And the splendid appearing of great Yahweh. Our master, Yahshua, Hamashiach. That is the great of our blessing, Israel, y'all. Don't you want to see him, Israel, y'all? Don't you want to see him? For Israel, y'all. Oh, this is a blessing that we all should desire to receive, Israel, y'all. Israel, don't ever forget the wonderful blessings of Abba Yahweh that we have in Yahshua HaMashiach. Oh, Israel, let me read. I want to remember, Israel. If you remember nothing else, Israel, 
Remember this what I'm getting ready to read, Israel. Take it in, Israel. Let it be a strength unto you. As you leave this place today, don't leave empty, Israel. But your mark here, Israel. The way you go from this place that you'll be able to stand. Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be Yahweh. And the arm of our master, Yahshua HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings, Israel. In the heavenly places, in Yahshua HaMashiach, Israel. Then it goes on, Israel, to say in Ephesians, Oh, speak to us, Yah. Show us your blessings, Yah. Ephesians 1 and 4, according as Yahweh has chosen us in Yahshua before the foundation of the earth, that we, he knew that we were his, that he knew that we should be Kodesh, a different from the people in this world, a walk from the different, from different of the people of this world, Israel, yeah? without blame before him and love, Israel. Yeah? It got to be a difference, Israel. Yeah? They got to know of what we proclaim to be the child of Israel. Yeah? Not only by the mouth, but it got to be a walk, Israel. Yeah? That they see the light shining of the people of Yah. It goes on to say, Ephesians 1 and 5, heaven predestinated us to the adoption of children by Yahshua Mashiach to himself, Israel, Yah, according to the tough pleasure of his will, Israel, Yah. Nothing that we did of our own, Israel, Yah. Ephesians, Ephesians 1 and 6 say, To the praising of the excellence of his free unmerited love and favor, wherein has he made us accepted, acceptable into the, his love, his Ahava Yisrael. Yeah. Don't you want the blessings of Abba Yahweh Yisrael? Yeah. Just to endure a little while longer. Total you are with Yahweh. That you have showed us. And you are showing us your blessings this day. Because our mindset of the blessings of Yah is far from what you're teaching us today. And I told you are with Yahweh. Give Yah a revelation one and three. Hallelujah. For don't you know, Revelation 1, 3, 6. This is a great blessing, Yah. This is a great blessing to you, Israel, Yah. This is what brings a great blessing. Revelation 1 and 3 says, Blessed he that reads, and they that hear the word of this book, Israel, Yah. Hear the words of this book, and bless he that reads. Takes it in, and let it keep them, Israel, y'all. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand, Israel, y'all. And for it is time to hear, Israel, y'all. We have but a short time. For even as we leave this earthly realm, Israel, we are blessed. We are truly blessed, Israel. Why are we truly blessed? Well, it tells us in Guyana, Revelation 16 and 15. It lets us know, behold, I come as a thief. 
But it says, even though I come as a thief, listen, that you be ready. It says, blessed to he that watches and keeps his garments. Least he walk naked and they see his shame. Israel. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Abba Yahweh. Israel, the greatest of our blessings. Oh, Israel. The marriage supper of Yahweh in Yahshua. Are you ready for it? Giyana. Revelation 99 tells us, and he says to me, Right, blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb, Israel. And he says to me, There are a true saying of Yahweh, Israel. Are you ready? For the marriage suffer of the Lamb, Israel. Oh, told you, Abba Yahweh. In my last reading of the scripture, Israel, this is the blessing that we must obtain. This is what is all about, Israel. This one thing, Israel. Turn to Giyana. Revelation 22 and 14. It says, Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandment, Israel. And then it goes on to tell us that they may have the right to the tree of life. Well, Israel, we got to do. Uh, let me read that again, Israel. Blessed are they that do his commandments, Israel. And then it goes on to tell us the T.D. Jakes, the all robbers, they're not going in the end. Because it tells me at this verse right here. And may it end to the end through the gates into the city. Yeah. And it said, him that do his commandments. Do his commandments. Not him that twist his commandments. Right. Not him that turn to the people the things of this life, Israel. Yeah. But do his commandment of what he said. According to his Torah, Israel, they're not going to make it in, Israel. The judgment is coming. Because that is the blessing of Yah, Israel. That is Yah's blessing. Nothing like what we expected, but total Yah. He give his people what he need, what they need, Israel, or what they need. And I told her, yeah, for his word today. And not only that, but for the much more word that we will hear. Turn it back into the hands of the king, Romeo. Hallelujah. Oh, that was beautiful, Israel. Yeah. The Bedekiah of Yah. The blessings of Yah. Hallelujah. My, my. Even the things we do not consider just to Shema, to hear. The Torah, a blessing. That's a blessing, Israel. Yeah. Even though we said, blessed are those yeah. that 
their Abba or their mighty one yes. is Almighty Yahweh. Yes. We're blessed, Israel. Yes. Far beyond what the world deems as being blessed. Yes. We're blessed far much and more than having vehicles and cars. That's nothing. It, re- it reminds me of the old song we used to sing. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. The peace of Almighty Yahweh, the world don't give us peace, Israel. Yahweh gives us peace. Yah gives us shalom. Who can take it away from us? No one can take it away. Those things are the blessings of Almighty Yahweh. Those things where moth and rust cannot consume, it cannot be corrupted, Israel. Those are the blessings of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. I told you Yahweh for that, Zakin, Yahweh Hallelujah. As we prepare for even our ark, Shimmery, to come forth today, I want to do just another chapter here. This reading here in Tehillim concerning Dawi. Tehillim chapter 144, before our ark comes forth. Hallelujah. Not only does Yahweh give us many blessings, but he wants us to bless him. And how do we do that? We walk in his Torah. We do as Yahshua HaMashiach. Did he not do all to please Almighty Yahweh, all that he did? How many of you here want to bless Almighty Yahweh? Hallelujah. We do that by submitting unto him. Submitting unto his Torah. Submitting unto his leadership. Those that he has placed to guide us, Yisrael, in this walk, in this path to the kingdom, to the Melchut. That we said is here, blessed be Almighty Yahweh, my strength. He's my staff. He's my pillar. He holds me up. He said, which stretches my hands to war? Has it not given us the implements, the tools that we need to battle and to war Yisrael? He says, and my fingers to fight. But you know we need to fight, Yisrael, with all that is within us to maintain and to sustain in this world, Yisrael. We must fight. We must endure as tough warriors unto Almighty Yahweh. He said that you, Almighty Yahweh, you are my tough. You are my fortress and my high tower. What is a high tower for? What is the purpose of a high tower and a kingdom? It's very important to have a place that is elevated above that which is visual visual from the ground. Why? Because you can see farther. You can see the enemy coming. Not only that, but you can see even the fire of those things that creep upon the kingdom or any place through a high tower. Not only that, but they also use what we call lighthouses at the edge of the oceans. Why? That when the ships would come in to shore, when they could not see the shore, there would be a light in this elevated place in this lighthouse, Yisrael. So he said, blessed be Almighty Yahweh, my fortress and my high tower. He says, my deliverer, my shield, my protection, and he in whom I trust. Blessed are those who trust are in the hands of Almighty Yahweh, not in the hands of man, but are in the hands of Almighty Yahweh. He also says, who subdueth my people under me. He says, oh, Yahweh, what is man? What is man? What are we, Israel? That thou takest acknowledgement of him, or the son of man, that you makest an account of him. That you watch him, his steps, his going, his coming into your presence. He said, bow thy heavens, almighty Yahweh, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast for lightnings, and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows, and destroy them. He's talking about my enemies. Those that do not walk under the Torah of almighty Yahweh. Send thy hand from above. Rid me. 
and deliver me out of these great waters, this multitude of people, this multitude of confusion, Yisrael. It takes the hand of Almighty Yahweh to lead us and to bring us out of these great waters. From the hand of strange children. Should we be of those that are estranged of the Torah of Almighty Yahweh? We should not be as the world, Yisrael. Our walk should be, should be dis- different. Our talk should be different. Why? Because we have the blessings, we have the better kaya of Almighty Yahweh. It says, who mouth speak vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. It says here, I will sing a new song unto you, O Yahweh. Have we presented a new song unto Yahweh today? Has he not given us this breath of life? Every breath that you take is new. It is refreshed, Israel. He said, I will sing a new song unto you, O Yahweh, upon the saw street and upon an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto you. That's what the Barakiah or the blessings of Yahweh will cause us to do, Yisra'ya, to sing praises unto his name. Has he not given us these vocal cords, Yisra'ya? Our voice and our, our instruments unto him. Hallelujah. So we should play our voices. We should lift up our voices unto our mighty Yah. He said, it is you that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth me, Dawi, your servant from the hurtful sword. He says, to rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, who mouth speaketh vanity in their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. That our sons, our sons, our people, the elect, the chosen of Almighty Yahweh, that our sons may be as plants that grow up and their youth, and that our daughters may be as cornerstones. There's only one cornerstone that I recall hearing about. That is Yahshua HaMashiach. But look, he likens unto the blessings of the Berechiah, the strength of Almighty Yahweh, as he keeps his people, as he gives to us as which is needed, that even in the midst of trials and tribulation and troubles, that we stand on the Torah of Almighty Yahweh, that our daughters that our children and our bane may be cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace. That is a blessing unto Israel, the daughters, the children, polished as unto the house, unto the bayat of Almighty Yahweh. He says here in verse 13, that our garners may be filled, our storehouses, Affording all manners of stone, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. The prospering of Almighty Yahweh. If we will walk in his Torah, his Mishra, Yisrael, his Berakaya, his blessing, that whatever we put our hands to, we'll multiply. That it bring forth thousands and of ten thousands. Not only that, he says here in verse 14, that our oxen may be strong to labor. What does that entail? What does that mean, Zakei Yeramiah? Not even, not just that of the physical, our oxen that we have here, they multiply, they produce, especially our sheep. But not only that, but those things that bring forth the health and the life of Torah in our lives. That we will be ox and a hope that are strong and the power of Almighty Yahweh, understanding his blessing. He said that our oxen may be strong to labor, that we may be labor, that we labor strong, Israel. And that there will be no breaking in, nor going out. And it also says that there will be no complaining. That's right. No complaining. Mm-hmm. That we don't charge y'all foolishly yeah. in our streets. Right. Why do we complain? How do we complain? Understanding the better Kaya and the many blessings that Almighty Yahweh has given us, Israel. We should, not be, we should not complain. There should not be any murmuring or complaining in our streets. And he says here, happy is that people. Happy is your people, Almighty Yahweh, that you have Barak. That is in such a tough case, a tough manner. We are in a tough case, Yisrael. 
We have the blessings to bear a car of Almighty Yahweh. Our situation and our circumstances, we are blessed among all people. Above all people, Yisrael. Yeah. He says, yea, happy is that people who's Abba, who's mighty one, who's great one, whose king is Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. So let us consider our many blessings this day, Israel. Yeah. That our king, that we are led, our mighty one, is Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. Hallelujah. In Yahshua HaMashiach. So at this time, Akshimri, yeah. hallelujah, will you come forth with the Torah? It is a blessing that we have Ak that can aspire, yes. that can preach, that can teach us yes. out of the Torah. We need that in this hour, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ak Shemri. As I came, Benjamin spoke to us earlier. Truly, we are a Barak people. We are a Barak people. But it's up to us, as the people of Yah, to allow Yah to move upon us, to allow his word to begin to be truly enriched within our lives yes. that we may see with these, the eyes of Yah yes. how truly and Barak we are yes. as the people of Yah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But without that, as the people of Yah, we can't see how Yah has Barakked us. Yes. We can't see the Barakiah of Yah. Yes. But we are Barak people. Yes. And I know we tend with this world we go out and we see the things of this old lamb that the world have, their cars, their homes, their things that they possess. And we being a simple people, a people after the heart of Yah, we have to battle with that thing. We have to battle with the, the carnal things of this world. But we have to allow Yah, Yah's Ruah, his Hakadash. We have to look through his eyes. We have to strive to be as him. Hallelujah. That we can see. We can see out of the eyes of Yah. We can see the blessings. We can see what Yah is doing with us, within us as a people. And we understand. Hallelujah. We understand what Yah is doing within us. We understand and we can see. We can see what Yah is doing. Hallelujah. But if we look at this thing carnally, we shall be taken. We shall lose this vision that Yah is putting within his people. Hallelujah. For Yah is going to have a people. Hallelujah. He's going to have a people that's going to serve him with a sincere heart. Totally. Sold out. Hallelujah. With a whole heart. Hallelujah. Yah is going to have that people. As the Torah says, if he has to cause the rocks to cry. Out. And we are that rock today. We are those rocks that Yah is going to cause to cry out. We're going to cry out. Hallelujah. Because Yah has chosen us from the foundation of this old land. He's going to have a people. We are that people, conditions of Yah. But we must allow Yah to deal with us. Hallelujah. That we may see the barakai of Yah. Come on here. Do y'all hear me today? Do y'all hear me this morning? We must allow Yah to deal with us. Hallelujah. That we become that people. Hallelujah. That crowd unto Yah. That we may see. That we may endure. The things of Yah. Hallelujah. We may endure. Because we, we talk of the blessings. But then there's something that comes along with that blessing. There's a suffering. There's a trial. We're going to be tried. Hallelujah. But we don't look at that as a blessing of Yah. Hallelujah. Yah has chosen us. Out of all the people of land, he has chosen us to endure. Hallelujah. To walk. Come on here, somebody. Y'all don't hear me. And it goes back to what I said earlier. Do, do we see what I'm saying? He has chosen us. This few. He's chosen us that we may endure this. Just a few people here. And those that are listening online, it's just a few. Yeah. People don't want to hear this kind of truth. No, this is not what they want. No, 
As Benjamin and Rock said earlier, they want the TD Jakes. Yeah. They want the quickening. That's what they want. Yeah. Because the quickening, it, it's nothing. They can still do their sin. Yeah. They can still walk in the way that their wicked hearts desire to walk. But not the Barakai of Yah. It tears up that little honey hole. Hallelujah. It uproots that. So Yah has chosen us. He's given us a chance to inherit his kingdom. Hallelujah. We are a chosen people. We are a Barak people. We have the Barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. We may not think it as a people because of what we suffer and the trials and things that we go through. But we have to look at it through the eyes of Yah. It's all in Yah's plan. It's all in Yah's will. It's all in Yah's plan. He knows what he's doing with his people. He knows what he's doing. We may not see it now. We may not even understand it. We may feel weak. We may feel as though, Yah, what is going on? We may feel baffled. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Yah knows what He's doing. Yes. All we have to do as a people is leave it in Yah's hand. Yes. He has it. Yes. It says, from the foundation, yes. out of the womb. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He says, Jacob was, was Jacob I love, and Esau I hate it. From the womb. So Yah knows what he's doing with his people. He knew it. He knows. He sees our ending. He knew our beginning. Hallelujah. So Yah knows what he's doing with his people. Hallelujah. So let us endure as a people. This is the blessings of Yah. Regardless of what you're going through. Hallelujah. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has it under control. That's the great blessings of Yah. When you endure. When you stand as a soldier. When you walk. When you walk through that fire. When you walk through that trial. When you walk through that tribulation. Hallelujah. When you endure those harsh words. Did not Hamashi endure? They spat upon him. He endured it. It says he opened out his, he opened out his mouth. He says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. So let us endure conditions of Yah. We should want to uh, stand for Yah. That's the barakai of Yah. That's a blessing within itself, to have that type of strength to stand. Anyone can go out here amongst this world and do what they're doing. That's easy. It takes a man to say, hell no. I shall stand for my Abba. Yes. He has chosen me. Yes. He has kept me. Yes. He has brought me this far. Hallelujah. Why in the world would he leave me now? Yes. Hallelujah. We must believe, because this is of Yah. We must look, look through the eyes of Yah. We must believe. We must stand. With all the hurts. With all the pain. We, Yah has given us strength to stand. Hallelujah. He's given our mind the strength to overcome the battles that we battle within our mind. He's given us strength to overcome the things that we battle within our flesh. He's given that to his people. Hallelujah. He's given that. And, and, and unless we do his will, we obey his Torah, then we can overcome. We can stand. That's part of the Barakai of Yah. That's part of his blessing. To endure. Our trials, they bless us. I've always been the type. Not to even talk about me, but I'm going to say this. Yeah. I've always been the type. I never liked the soft coaches. Yes. Come on. I played ball. I wanted the coaches that even after the game, you could have done better. Yes. Sure. I didn't like the soft coach. I wanted to be, on, be around the coach that pushed me to my limit yes. and some. Yes. Hallelujah. And that's what we should want as a people of y'all. Yes. We should want to be pushed. Yes. We should want to be tried. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We should want that. Because that shows what's in you when you're pushed and when you're tried. That shows what's in you. Hallelujah. You can say, well, I'm this, I'm that. But you're, until you're tried, that's the true test. 
Hallelujah. When you try, that is the true test. That shows what's in you. Hallelujah. If you had never tried, then why even walk this walk? Why even walk it if you had never tried? Hallelujah. We should want to be tried. I don't care if it's with, if with losing weight or whatever it is. You should want to be tried. Hallelujah. You should want to be tried. Then you can prove yourself. And how do you prove yourself? Through Almighty Yah. Obeying his commandments. That's how we prove what's in us. Being obedient. Being obedient unto his Torah. Hallelujah. It's easy to go hide out and do nothing. But when you get out and walk, or when you get out and work, you see all needing help. When you get out and apply yourself. Hallelujah. That shows what's in you. That shows what's in you, huh? Those are the barakah. Those are the blessings of Yah. Hallelujah. Those are the things that Yah barracks his people with. The true, the enriching. Hallelujah. Those are the things that Yah barracks his people with. The things that are in the inner room. The things that are in their mind. They don't want to do this, but they press for it and they do it anyway. Those are the things that Yah barracks his people with. Hallelujah. That's the true condition of Yah. That's the true barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. Total Yah. And how, as we as a people of Yah, how shall we walk and abound in the blessings of Almighty Yah? How shall we? I shall show you right here in Proverbs. Proverbs, Proverbs 28 and 20, it says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings. A faithful man. That's how we abound. That's how we, we move to the next level. That's how we walk with, with strength. That is how, being faithful unto his Torah, being faithful unto the things of Yah. That's all right. That's beautiful. That's how we abound. Yes. Come on, my friend. But he that makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent. That's all right. He that makes haste to be rich. Mm -hmm. Come on. Proverbs 10 and 6, it says, blessings are upon the head of the just. That's, ah. That says Zadik. Blessings are upon the head of the Zadik. But violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Are we a, a Zadik people today? Are the blessings of Yah upon our head? Are the blessings of Yah upon our heads as the people today? It says in the Torah that it is those that walk upright, those that walk in his Torah. It says his blessings are upon them. He keeps them. He strengthens them. He brings them through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10 and 7. It says the memory of the just is blessed. Do we not want our memory, the things that we're striving to do, to be a blessing, to be blessed? Not about the, the wickedness, the wickedness of this world. That stuff is forgotten. But when you do tub, when you walk right, that brings about the strength in another ark. If you may pass on. But something that that ought remembered in you. Yeah, right. This man was like this. He was an upright man. Hallelujah. He was an upright man. He walked with strength. Hallelujah. He walked with the Ruah of Yah. It's remembered. It's remembered from generations passed down unto our little ones. Hallelujah. That's what the Torah says. It says the memory of the just is, is, is barocked. But the name of the wicked shall rot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says a wise man, mm -hmm. one that is wise, on. one that walks with the Torah of Yah. Come on. It says, it says, shall be filled with the Barakaya. Oh. A wise, a wise man. A man that hears the Torah. He doesn't fight against it. He hears it. He ponders it. He puts it on the back shelf. It's there. He knows where it is. He doesn't fight it. He may not understand it. But he waits. And he waits on the Ruah of Yah. Until the Ruah of Yah brings it into fluation. That's a wise man. He has the Barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. He walks with strength. It may be new to him. He may have never heard it that way. But he doesn't fight it. Yeah. That's a wise man. Yes, he is. 
That's a wise. He waits on the Abba. He prays. He prays. He waits. He prays. He waits. Until the fluation. Until Yah says, okay, now I shall show you. It says because Yah, he hides his word from the wicked. Because there are plenty, plenty wicked folks out there. They know the word. They know the beginning of the Bible to the end. They can quote scriptures all day long. But they don't, they, they don't have the rule of Yah. So it's not open up unto them. Yah's going to have a people that he pours his rule out, out upon. His blessings. That's a wise man. That's all right. That's been filled with the blessings of Yah. Hallelujah. And he says, and all they that see him shall count him happy. That man, all they that see him shall count him happy. As Ray I was saying earlier, as, as, as when he goes out and people can see. They can see the happiness about it. I don't see this every day. This is not common. Why they don't see that every day? Because it's not out there. Because y'all's only going to have a few people. You don't see it out there. You, people, you see people that are bogged down about their bills, about their marriage, about their financial situation. You don't see it out there. But y'all, he has the people that when they go out, people just see it. Say something about these people. Why are they so happy? Do they not have any problems? No, because we serve an almighty Abba. And we leave it in his hands. He works it out. He tells us how to handle our problems. He says, put it in his hands. You walk upright. I'll take care of it. That's what he says. He tells us to press on. Hallelujah. Tells us to put on. Hallelujah. That's what he tells us. He, he don't tell us to worry. Hallelujah. He don't tell us to worry. He said, put it in his hands. He said, I'll take care of it. That's being barocked of Yah. Say what you will and may. That's being barocked of Yah. That brings about a glow within your ruah. Because you're not bogged down with, with, with your problems, your situation. You're only bogged down with, with, with Yah, his word, his Torah. That's what you're bogged down with. And that brings about a smile. Hallelujah. It brings about a smile. It brings about a strength. As Rock said, it brings about a walk. I'm all right. It brings about a, a strength. Hallelujah. That's what it does. You're not worried. Hallelujah. It brings about an assurance that I serve an almighty Abba. Hallelujah. He puts strength in me. Not this world. Not this suit of clothing I have on. That means nothing. It comes from above. It comes from him. He brings about that strength. Almighty Yah. He is the one. He's doing it. It's got nothing to do with me. Or nothing to do with you. It comes from him. From up above. By me being obedient. By, by me walking within his Torah. Within his commandments. That's where that strength comes from. Hallelujah. Totally Yah. It says, they shall see him and count him happy. Shirak 37 and 25. It said, the days of life of man may be numbered. The days of life of man may be numbered. But the days of Israel are without number. The days of Israel are without number. It says, oh, oh, foolish man, why die ye before your time? And that's how they're, they're doing out there in the world today. Yeah. They're doing foolishness. They're dying before their time. They they're not obeying the Torah. They're not walking within the Torah. They're not eating right. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're not eating right physically yeah. nor spiritually. And they're dying before their time. Yeah. It, says, but the num it says, but the days of Israel are without number. Because we're going to live eternally yeah. with our Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to live eternally. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to live forever. Yeah. There is no ending with y'all. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It says, he who is wise among his people yeah. will inherit confidence. Yeah. And his name will live forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Where is this, fool's, this fullness of blessings of y'all? Where is it? 
Where is this fullness? It's right here in the book. It tells you. It says, where is this fullness, the blessings of Yah? It says in Romans, Romeo 15, 29. This is Shaul talking here. It says, and I am sure that when I am come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the Barakiah, of the message of Messiah. So there's the fullness right there, the message of Messiah. That's the fullness right there. This book, this Torah, this is, this is what he's coming in. He's full of it. He's not coming cocked halfway or cocked to one side. He's coming with the boldness of Almighty Yah. He's coming with strength. Hallelujah. The fullness of the blessing. That's what he's coming with. He's coming with it all. He's coming with both barrels loaded. He's coming with the fullness. He's not coming, well, it's okay to do this, okay. No, he's coming with get your heart right. Walk in Yah. Walk with strength. Listen to this Torah. He's coming with the fullness. All of Yahshua HaMashiach. He's not coming, cock. No, he's not. He's not giving us no kind of leeway. Yah's not giving us no kind of leeway. His yay is yay, his nay is nay. That's what he's coming with. He's not coming with the T.D. Jakes. Well, it's okay to do this. It's all right to do that. He understands. No, he's coming with the fullness. We're wicked. Get your heart right. He's coming with the fullness. That's what he's coming with. So who came with the fullness? He came with the fullness. It says uh, here in Proverbs, What the blessings of Yah, how were the blessings of Yah, or what were the blessings of Yah caused to be seen within our lives? The Barakiah of Yah. If we have this Barakiah, what will be seen within our walk, within our lives, within our demeanor, within, with, with, within our, our ways, our actions, towards our, our, our coat, towards this, this walk with Yah? It says in Proverbs 10 and 22, it says the Barakai of Yah, it says it makes rich. Oh, yes. Come on. So when we have the Barakai of Yah, or when we're walking in, the, in, in when we are Barak of Yah, we walk in the richness of Yah. Yes. You'll see the fruit. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You will see the fruit. Yes. Come on. You will see the long suffering. Yes. You will see the patience. You will see the endurance. Hallelujah. You'll see strength. Those are the, the, the things, the Barakai of Yah, which, are, which are, are seen in the people that are Barak of Yah. You're going to see it. You're not going to see no murmuring. You're not going to hear no murmuring. There, there will be no, no complaining. There will be no complaining. Oh, I heard here, but I heard. That's okay. I'm, I'm pressing on. Oh, I got back late. I'm, I'm sleepy, but there's a press. That's no Mormon complaining because there's the Barakai of Yah within yeah, you. Because you know the purpose. Mm -hmm. You know your Abba. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know your Abba. Yeah. You know it's for his purpose. And you, you, you're sold out. You'll die this way. Hallelujah. There is no change. On, there is no change. You're not giving up. That's the Barakai of Yah. That's the strength. Yeah. It's something that within you, you can't look back. Because you know there's nothing there. You have no other choice but to press on. You have no other choice. That's, when it's, that's the Barakai of Yahweh when it's in you. You can't do anything else. You don't know anything else. You don't want that old man Adam. There's nothing else. There's nothing else for you. You're sold out. You just die that way. That's the strength of Yah. That's the Barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. That's when you're Barak of Yah. When that, there, even, there is even no question of going no other route. You just do all you do and you stand and you wait. And you see his word perform. That's what you do. There is no other way. Hallelujah. Totally, y'all. Hallelujah. Where was I? It makes rich. The blessing of y'all. Say again, Yosef. 
Proverbs 10, 20. Okay. Okay. The blessings of Yah makes rich. And he, and he says, and he adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10, 22. You look at the wicked today. They're not Barat. They say that they are Barat with their houses, their homes. But there's a sorrow that comes with that. Do y'all hear me? Mr. Bill Collector is on their back. I need the payment for this Mercedes. Huh? Mr. Bill Collector says, I need the payment for this house. So they're in bondage. They're in slavery. Y'all doesn't work that way. He doesn't work that way. There is no bondage. We're free to praise him. We're free to serve him. Hallelujah. We're free. We're, we're at peace. I look at this, this old Ema back here smiling. See, don't look bogged down to me. I see a peace there. I know what y'all's doing. Why do you think y'all says for his people to come and live, live this way? Have one lot. There's a freedom. There's a peace. You're not bogged down. We have one lot. We all do it together. It makes it easy for us all. Hallelujah. That's the wisdom of y'all. That's the barakai of y'all. That's the blessings of y'all. Hallelujah. He has no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. We're not sorrowful today. I hadn't worried about a bill in close to 20 years. And those of you that live here can say the same thing. Hallelujah. So y'all has no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. He frees us up where we can just serve him. He frees us up where we can just pray unto him. Hallelujah. Come on here somebody. Y'all don't hear me. We're free today. We're Barack of Yah. Hallelujah. That was Proverbs 10 and 22. Total Yah. Total you, Yah, for this. That's, that's, what, that's the, the certainties of the blessings of Yah. For his people, for his nation. That's one of the certainties. To live together. To live amongst each other. Hallelujah. That's a true, a true family of Yah. Because we don't know each other unless we live amongst each other. How are you going to know me if you don't live amongst me? But see, this world, they, they claim that they know each other, but they don't. Because they come into one meeting whorehouse, and everybody puts on their fine suit, their fine clothing, and they grin in their skin and praise the Lord, praise. It's an act. It's phony. Go home with them. Go home with him. Then you see the real deal. The way he treat his wife. The way he treat, treat his children. You see the real deal. But Yah wants his people to live this way. Hallelujah. This is the barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. This is the barakai of Yah. Total Yah. And this one thing here, for his nation of people, I'm going to go to Shirak 11 and 20. This is certainty. This is one of the certainties of the blessings of Yah. It says, be steadfast and stand by your covenant and attend to it. What is Yah telling us? He says, he has a covenant with us. And he's telling us as a people, just stand. Stand by this covenant that I have made with you. Huh? Just stand by it. I'm faithful. That's why he has to tell us to stand. Because we turn our backs on him. He's not going to turn our back on us. He's not going to turn his back on us. We turn our back on him. It tells us to stand fast. Be steadfast. Stand by your covenant and attend to it. Attend to it. It says, and grow old in your work. That's like I said er earlier. There's nothing else to do but just stand. Your soul out. You can't look back. Just grow old in it. Become an old man, an old woman. 
Just die this way. That's what y'all is telling you. Die within his word. Hallelujah. Just die. Just stand within his word. Grow old in it. Hallelujah. Shirak 11, 21. It says, marvel not. Marvel not at the works of sinners. Hallelujah. It says, but trust in Yah. It says, but trust in Yah. And abide in your labor. Just like I said earlier. It says, abide in your labor. Trust in Yah. Envy not the wicked. Well, well, our old trucks, they don't run like they got a nice new. No. But your truck has the, the barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. Your tree equipment has the barakai of Yah. That truck I drive has the barakai of Yah around it as I'm in it. Hallelujah. He's keeping me. He's watching over us. Hallelujah. I don't envy. Let us not envy. It says, it says, marvel not at the works of the sinners, but trust in Yah and abide in your labor. For it is as easy thing in the sight of Yah. It is, a, it, it is an easy thing. Can y'all hear me now? I've been looking for this scripture. I was looking for it last night. And I could not find it. It says, for it is an easy thing in the sight of Yah. Listen to this. It says, to quickly make a poor man rich. So when we're down and out, we're feeling like, I just can't make it through this trial. Hallelujah. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm at my wit's end. It says here, it says quickly. It says y'all can quickly turn that around. He can quickly send his imuna, his ruah, into that man to change that around, to give him strength, to walk. Hallelujah. It says quickly to make a poor man. He's at, he's at his feeble state. It says, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in Yah and abide in your labor. For it is easy thing in the sight of Yah to quickly make a poor man a rich. He can do it. Quickly, he can do it. Sirach 11, 22. It says, the blessing of Yah is the reward of the conditions and quickly and quickly y'all causes his blessings to flourish y'all causes his blessings to flourish and he do it quickly hallelujah and as the old old uh, thing that we we would say is that uh, he's not going to come when you want him but believe me he's going to be on time He's going to come through. He's going to come through. He's going to come through. And it says on in Sirach 11, 23, it says, Do not say, I have enough. No, do not say, what profit is there of my service? We shouldn't get to that state, condition of y'all. And what tough things shall I have, shall I have hereafter? It says, don't say that. It says, don't say, I have enough and possess many things. And what evil I have thereafter. It says, don't say those things. You just stand in Yah. Don't worry about that. He'll take care of it. You're doing right. We're, we're walking right. We have to look through those eyes of Yah. Don't be depressed. Be of tough strength. He shall come through. He shall do what he says he shall do. That's what his word says. That's what he shall do. He can't go against his word. He can't. He has to do what he has said in his word. He must perform it. Or we can throw the whole book away. He must perform it. So it's just up to us to endure and just to wait. To endure. The Barakai of Yah. Hallelujah. Shirak 11, 25, it says, In the day of prosperity, there is forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of adversity, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. That is so true. 
Hallelujah. But these are the promises upon a certain people. Yes, they are. These are the promises. As I read right here in Yeshua. The promises of Yah's Ruach upon his people. Sure what the blessings will be. As I said earlier, these are the promises of Yah. He's got to do what his word says he's going to do. Isaiah 44 and 1. Yet now hear, O Yaakov, my servant, and Israel, do we hear that? Whom I have chosen. For Yah has chosen us. He has chosen us to endure. He's chosen us as a people to walk in his Torah. To endure what he has allowed upon us to go through. Did he not... Um, did he not tell Satan, have you tried my servant Eo? Yeah. So it was Yah that, that allowed that to happen unto Eo. So it is Yah that, uh, that is allowing this to happen unto us, to allow us to be tried, to allow us to show us what we need to pull up as a people. Hallelujah. He's showing us our shortcomings. Hallelujah. So it's Yah. It's all in Yah's hand. He is in control. He is in control. But the world always give credit unto Satan. No, it's Yah. It's Yah. It's not Satan. So that's who we shall trust in. That's who we shall trust in as a people. Because you know Yah has it all in control. He controls Satan. Hallelujah. Isaiah 44 and 2, it says, Thus says Yahweh that made you and formed you from the womb, which will help you. Hallelujah. Fear not, O Yaakov, my servant. is talking to us. And you, Yesharon, whom I have chosen. says, fear, fear not, O Yesharon. It says, 44 and 3, for I will pour water upon him. Yaakov, that is thirsty. Hallelujah. And floods upon the dry ground. And I will pour my ruah upon your seed and my blessings upon your offspring. He said, I will pour my ruah upon your seed. What is that seed? By us hearing the word and allowing it to, to take heed within our nephesh. That is the seed. It's being planted within us. Hallelujah. It's being planted. And Yah said, then I will come and water it. I will pour my ruah upon it. I will bring it to fruition. Y'all would do it. He want us to endure. He want us to endure. To hear the word, allow it to be applied unto our nephesh. It says he will bring his ruah hakadash to give us strength to go through that thing. That is our offspring. Hallelujah. That is our offspring. Y'all is trying to plant the seed within us. His ruah is going to water it. Hallelujah. That is our offspring. What is our offspring? When we go through the thing, when we make it through, Hallelujah. That is our spring. That's what we birth. Hallelujah. That's what we birth. We don't want to birth wickedness. If you listen to wickedness and you do wickedness, then you're going to birth wickedness. Hallelujah. So that's what Yah is saying. Listen to the seed. Hear the, hear the word. Hear the word of Yah. Let the seeds be planted. Yah shall bring it to fruition. Yah shall bring it to fruition. It says, Isaiah 44 and 4, and they shall spring up, this offspring, this strength, this imuna. It says, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water's course. It shall spring up. Once his ruah hit upon it, it shall spring up. He shall bring it to fruition. That's a great confidence. That's a great confidence. Psalms 3 and 7. A great confidence in Yah. There is a great confidence in Yah. Why? Because of the truth. Because of his word. Because of what he tells us. 
and by us being obedient unto it, how it gives us strength. Because his word cannot go out and return void. It's going to go out and accomplish that which he has intended for it to accomplish. It says, Psalms 3 and 7, it says, Arise, O Yah, deliver me, O Yah, my Abba, for you have smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the wicked. Psalms 3 and 8, Salvation's, salvation belongs to Yah. Yahweh's Barakiah is upon his people. It, his Barakiah is upon his people. Not the wicked. It says upon his people. Upon his people. So we must endure. We, we endure the trials. We endure whatever we have to go through. Because it says his blessing is upon us. It may not feel that way, but it says his people who are scattered abroad throughout the old land. And if we obey Yah, what shall befall us? If we obey the things of Yah, His commandments. It says, Psalms 119 and 1, it says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the Torah of Yah. So Barak are the people of Yah, when we walk within His Torah. It says Barak. It says 119 and 2, say, Blessed are they that keep His testimonies. And that seek him with the whole heart. We must seek him with all of our lead. We can't leave no room for foul play. We can't leave no room for anything. It must be a whole heart. We must seek him with the fullness. With all. There can't be no schisms, no isms. With a full heart. With sincerity. Half-stepping. We can't have it. We can't have it. If we do, we miss out on Yah's Barakaya. It says, Who are the blessed of the Most High? Who are they? And Gileana here is, is going to, I'm going to read here, it's going to tell you who the Barak of Yah is. Revelation 16 and 15, it says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he, Barak is he, that watches and keeps his garments. Least he walk naked and they see his shame. It says, Barak is he that is watching, watching for the things of Yah. And keeping himself clean, unspotted. Hallelujah. From the things of this world. Keeping his mind unspotted. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at this. Looking straight ahead. Remaining focused. Hallelujah. Keeping his focus upon the things of Yah. It says, Barak is he. At least he walk naked. And they see his shame. Hallelujah. Revelation 19 and 9, and he says to me, right, blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Barak are we whom are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. He said, we are Barak. We are the ones that he has called to this marriage supper. We are the ones that he has given a chance. We are the ones that he is allowed to hear this truth. Hallelujah. We are the ones, but we take it for granted. We don't take it seriously. Help me, y'all. It says, and he says to me, these are the true sayings of y'all. Do we hear that? He said, this is the true saying of y'all. It says, Barak are those that who are called to the marriage supper of y'all. Hallelujah. He said, we are Barak. We are Barak as a people. Hallelujah. Proverbs 8 and 22, 32. It says, Now therefore listen to me, O you, o you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Barak are we as the people of Yah if we keep his ways. Barak are we. It says, 
Psalms 84 and 8. Blessed are they that dwell in Yahweh's house. They will still be giving you praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are we giving y'all praise today, could of y'all? Yeah. Are we still here in y'all's house? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are we still in his house? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it says, goes on to say, I got a few more scriptures here. It says, blessed is the man whose strength is in Yah. Barak is the man whose strength is in Yah. I want to be Barak of Yah. I want my strength to be in him. Hallelujah. I want my strength to be in Almighty Yah. I want to be Barak of him. It says, in whose love are your highways. Psalms 106 and 3, it says, Barak are they that keep judgment. Do we see any judgment out here in this old lamb today? There is none. There is none. And he that does Kodesh at all times. Hallelujah. So Barak the weakness of y'all. We keep judgment. Hallelujah. And we do, and we do the things of Yah at all times. Barak are we. Psalms 112 and 1 says, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man, the man that fears Yah, that de delights greatly in his commandments, his misvah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And above all, condition of Yah, this is the blessed one. Above all, it says, Psalms 118 and 46, in my closing, it says, Yahweh lives and bless be my rock. And let the sovereign master of my deliverance be exalted. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Blessed be Yah, the sovereign master of Israel. Yeah. For he has visit, visited and redeemed his people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. For Yah shall redeem his people. He shall visit us in our time of need. He shall barack us. He shall keep us. For we are his people. He says it within his word. We are his people. Hallelujah. We are his people. And as simple as plain as that. We are the people of Yah. And that, that alone is just enough to go on. We are the people of Yah. His word says it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yermia. Yermia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my. The Bedekiah, the blessings of Almighty Yahweh. We have heard of his blessings on this day. As we often hear a smorgasbord, all we have to do is just eat, Yisrael Yah, off of the table of Almighty Yahweh. It is all tough. You know, the world has taught us so many things, Yisrael Yah, what blessings are. Education. Having plenty of money in the bank. Having many friends. A big house fine clothes. We have been taught that when we see one with those things that he must be blessed of Almighty Yahweh, but it is not so. We have heard today what the blessings of Yahweh consists of. Of his Torah. As we shema, as we hear. As we understand what Yahweh is saying unto his house. A people that is content. A people that walk after the Torah of Almighty Yah. A people that do not complain. We do not murmur. We walk in the judgments of Almighty Yahweh. So much. So many things. Even the, the uh, blessings of Yahweh being just, just poured out amongst us on this day. And his benefits, Yisrael Yah. 
things that even mere words cannot explain. Yet Yahweh has, as our ark has said to us, elected a people to receive these blessings. Every word, every promise given of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. I told y'all for that today, Israel, y'all. I don't have anything else to say, but told y'all for his blessings. Barak Yahweh for my ark today, my Zakane, that has presented such beautiful truth and understanding and much wealth unto us, Yahweh's blessing. Hallelujah. We do Barak, you all that are listening by via of live stream today. Yahweh, he has poured out his Ruach. He has sent his fiery coal from Shemayim and placed it upon the mouth of our ark today, our, our Zakane. That we may understand what Yahweh has brought us with, what he has given us. It has not been given unto the world, this great world, this great treasures on this day. But it has been given unto the house of Yisrael. Let us give him Todah. He has given us so much, Yah, Yisrael. Yah has given us so much this day. So let us give unto him. Hallelujah. Of our substance, of our life, of everything we are. And whatever we could be, we give it. Willingly unto Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet, Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. Oh, Toda Yah. He has given us of his very best, his Torah, his word, in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Abba Yahweh, we do Toda you for this beautiful day of truth, yeah. of understanding, of wealth, of your Barakiah, Yah, you have given unto the house. Of Israel, Yah. We do ask, Abba Yahweh, that we keep those in remembrance, Abba Yahweh, that may not even have heard of this message today, but yet your Ruach, your Hakodesh Ruach, is spread abroad, and your train fills the hearts and the land of Israel, Yah. Those places in which, Abba Yahweh, your name has been written, Abba Yahweh. We pray that this message today will be repeated and that it will go and to, and to the ears of those, Abba Yahweh, that we'll hear, and the ears of those, Abba Yahweh, you have elected on this day. Take those, Abba Yahweh, that have come from near and afar home safely today, Abba Yahweh, that your Melikim, that your Malat will travel with them, Abba Yahweh. Take them to the appointed place at the appointed time. And all things we do but rock you, and we give you Toda, even for this Shabbat day that you have given as a blessing and a Benakiah. And your covenant unto Yisrael. And all things we give you, Toda, in the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we do declare. Hallelujah! 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 Yabarak Ko Yisrael. And the Berakiah of Yah upon Yisrael. Hallelujah! Shabbat Shalom.